everybody, welcome back for another video. Wait, welcome back to another video or for another video? I don't know, but welcome back. So for today's video, we got some more NPC stuff to install. Uh, we're gonna do my lower control arms and possibly the tie bar along with the uh, subframe brace bar. Uh, that's what we're doing today. And I hope you guys are interested in that. But if you're not, then I highly suggest you get interested in that because that's what we're going to be doing. Hi, Christina. How you doing, boo? I already got the car all jacked up in the back already. Um, like I said, we're going to be taking out these functioning form little control arms and replacing them with NPC along with the tie bar and brace bar. So, yes, yeah, sir. I unboxed that already for you in one of the last previous videos. But I'll show you guys again because I'm a great content creator, dog. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be installing these bad boys along with this tie bar and my brace bar, which I have in the house, which I need to go get. But you can get all this at NPCMotorsport.com uh, with discount code Zosh. I think it's like 10% off, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, man. You cannot go wrong with these bad boys. Look at it. They got that nice polished look to it. Oof. Not polished, but like that nice aluminum look to it. It just looks nice. This is what I'm going to be running with. This is not the drop one. This is just the OEM replacement of um, low control arms, but it's just better, more sturdier, better bushings. Yeah, I mean, you know the whole nine. And then that, and then also the brace bar. I have no idea how to install a tie bar. I've never done it before. I'm assuming these two holes go exactly where that is. I think, I'm not sure, I don't know. I will have to figure out once I get there, but uh, yeah, let's tackle this thing. And here is the brace bar. And everything comes with hardware needed to install. And it looks like we got some instructions, play boy. So yes sir. So to remove my uh, little control arms, we have a bolt here, a bolt here, which I got on backwards. If you guys can see it, you probably can't, but both there and right there. And then I drop this whole complete thing. And then I got to remove all these brackets right here for the subframe brace and same thing on this side as well. And uh, hopefully I have something around here in the garage I can sit the car, I mean, sit the thing on and get some, um, you know, some time-lapse stuff going on. So yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the next clip is gonna be like a time-lapse. So let's get it. Wake again, I'll wake again, I'll pray the Lord that I, cause I've been working in the kitchen with the dirt on my hand. God tell me why nobody love me but you. Born inside the belly with the gun in my hand. Time for pity, got some thug in the door Working in the kitchen with the dirt on my hand God tell me why nobody love me but you Born inside the belly with the gun in my hand Ain't no time for pity, got some thug in the door I've been working and writing, writing and working some more Searching for truth and truthfully I'm hurting to know Why many of me is live where the murderers go On a daily dealing with you never heard of before See I got motors of moving my mama plenty of miles Send me the pay before you even send me the files I don't kick it with cause they energy wild you by association like the enemy's child I'm wondering, wondering really where they gather to go As you guys can see, it got the lower control arms on It doesn't take long, it's literally like a 5-10 to 10 minute install for the lower control arms Now, for this, I'm not entirely sure how this goes into everything But with the cool thing about this tie bar, you see that right there? It goes right into here perfectly fine Boom, drops in there But I gotta figure out exactly where this bad boy would mount I'm thinking it's something like this yeah it's got to be something like this well uh, you guys can't see but those got to be something like this I don't know I guess I'll get to it when I start uh installing it with all the bolts and stuff so let's see shouldn't be too hard though should not be too hard so following the instructions given when you get your type uh, your brace bar not tie bar um, you install the bracket like this it's like it acts like a spacer so with all the hardware needed, your two Allen bolts will go there, and then, well, once I figure out more, I'll update you guys. But, yeah, I'm not really a learner when it comes to, like, looking at directions on a piece of paper. I was Googling it, and I found somebody installed this, and I'm just following what they did. So, um, I don't want to put too much time lapse of me being confused and stuff to confuse you guys. So, once I get further, I'll just keep updating you piece by piece by piece. And I feel like that's more easier for you guys to be visual learners as well. So... Yep, cool. You know, I did one of those things where I just um, do something without uh, showing you guys. And uh, 
devices and devices killing pain. That's what I did. Because everything is now installed. It's not hard at all. Like seriously, bro, it's really not hard. Uh you get this long once you get the tie bar, if you order your tie bar with your brace, then you replace your factory nut. I mean your factory bolt with the nut provided in your tie bar thing and it goes all the way to the backside. So we are good there. I wish I had like a cool beauty watch or something to put there. Uh yeah, I'm gonna hit up I might have to get some more bolts. I wanna get some bolts for here to make this look pretty, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. But all in all, it's not hard to install. This is actually this is like the simplest the tie bars easily because it's only two bolts and like there's a, a thing like on the inside that cups into this, so it just it holds itself and I have to do it just put two bolts in. But that's the install of the uh, um, what's it called, man? Brace bar and tie bar and no rear control arms. So that is it all nice. I wish I had like a little handheld stabilizer to give you guys a nice little um, cinematic of everything. But that's it, bro. Ice, iced out, iced out, iced out. Where the heat in the fanning begin Kinda funny what the people call a legend The government call a weapon But really he just a man in the end He just a man in the end I lay me down to sleep I pray the Lord that I wake again I found my GoPro So we're gonna do like a little uh, POV driving to Fred's house uh, Hopefully I don't reveal too much information On how to get to Fred's house Nor my house But I'm leaving my sister's house So Yeah for yet another Zosh install-esque video. I hope you guys enjoy the POV, and I hope you guys enjoy the install of the NPC hardware. Oh my God, my stomach. Oh no. Holy. Oh no. And most importantly, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you would choose to. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't 
help. I mean, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. And remember, if you guys would like anything from NPCMotorsport.com, use discount code Zosh for I think 15, 10%. I don't know how much percent off. But use that discount code, Playboy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I am out. Peace.